Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial in our series on how to make a game of Ultimate Survival. We're picking up where we left off in the last video when we added our new saw blade. So in this video we're going to add a rock and we're going to start hitting it and we're going to mine and get some ore and some stone. While looking for a decent rock so we can use in our video I came across this lovely one from Not Lonely. It's free it looks really nice and I've seen similar stuff being sold for a few quid on the asset store so I'm very excited to see what this looks like inside our little game. So I've downloaded it and put it inside Unity and let's pop in and see what it looks like. So here we are dropping in the rock and straight away it looks nice. I'm going to lower it down a touch if my game hasn't frozen. Okay, so lowering it down just to sink it into the ground. Not too much. Let's move it away from the grass. Okay, so this is our rock. Now, normally you'd go through the manual and manually add all the things we want to do, but we know that in the demo scene we had some rocks that had the script attached to it, so let's just pop in. It's fine. Um, here we go. Survival pack. No, that's the one that we purchased from Lucy, and we want the ultimate survival. So, find ultimate survival, not in materials, in the prefabs, in the objects, and let's look for here it is rock, metal. So, we get given this metal rock. It has a mesh renderer, mesh collider, a rigid body, and this is the important one the mineable object script. And it's also got this nav mesh obstacle that basically will stop any AI from trying to walk through it and get stuck, hopefully. So we want to grab these two. Uh, let's lock. Shall we? No, let's, let's go backwards and forwards. I was going to lock one and then play about, but we can click here, copy this component. Just want to read through the component. It's Required tools purpose, break rocks, and if you remember in our saw blade we added break rocks as one of the purposes for the tool. When it gets destroyed it will play it will replace this big prefab with another prefab, the destroyed rock metal prefab. And it's got here the item name of what we'll get when we're looting. So that's stone. There's a high chance of the stone coming at sixty percent. And because this is a metal rock, there's also a big forty percent chance that we'll get some metal ore. So we'll randomise between 1 to 3 we'll be picking up and the stone you'll be getting a lot more stones so it randomises between 5 and 10. And it will show that little message in the bottom left that we're gathering. Fantastic. So let's grab that. Copy component. Let's find our big rock. And let's paste it in. Paste it as new. I'm happy with leaving it getting exactly the same as the other one. So let's go back into our objects, find it again, and pick up the nav mesh obstacle. Remember that we need to have the mesh collider and the rigid body on our rock as well. So let's go back to the rock. It's got mesh renderer, it's got mesh collider, it doesn't have a rigid body. So let's add our rigid body we want to make sure is kinematic is on and so it's gravity. Okay. And let's paste in the nav mesh obstacle. Okay then. So that looks pretty good so far. And I just want to show you before we get in that our saw blade differs quite a bit from the pickaxe that you get free with ultimate survival because if I go to our saw blade and then see FP tool script, our damage per hit is 100. It's pretty high. If I go to the pickaxe, it's at 15. So it takes a lot more hits with a pickaxe to break down this rock than it would do with our saw blade. Now, for the sake of our test and our tutorial, we're just going to keep this at 100 so we can do a lot of damage while we're playing about. Let's check out our scene. There's our rock, there's our saw blade. If I equip the saw blade, we 
to crouch down. You can see that I picked up stone, seven stone, eight stone, and two metal ore. Number one. No, oh, good. We're getting some good odds here. Metal ore. Another stone. Don't remember, it's a 60 40 chance we're going to get stone versus ore. Another ore. Another stone. Another stone. And a big pink blob. So we've got a missing texture somewhere. So let's just get out of this. So if we remember, when we kill our destroyer rock, it loads up this destroyed rock metal. So let's have a look at it. Destroyed rock. Let's open it up. Have a look here. So we've got all the different LODs and let's see the effects. Have a look at our renderer. Yep, we can see here we've got the missing material. So let's find let's find the material. Under effects, particles, dusty, smoky white. There you go. So let's lock that. Do we want to lock that? Let's lock that. Let's go. Where are you? Where was he? Where was our prefab? He was in the objects. And okay, this is the one we want to lock. Want to lock you. So let's find back where our particle systems are white and scroll down. Here's the missing. So drag it in and just drop it. And there you go. Particle white smoke. Let's save that. Let's give it another go. And hopefully this time we don't get a big pink blob exploding in our face. So we've got you remember before a uh, crazy saw blade that can be used to chop up people or chop down trees. Let's crouch down with the C. Do you remember the right pointing at my screen? I keep forgetting that the uh, the camera doesn't actually record what I'm pointing at, only what my mouse points at. So keep on smacking this. Keep on smacking it. And no big pink block. This time we had a nice smoke, and it's replaced that big big rock. Now we could add onto this destroyed one, make this mineable as well, if we wanted. You could just keep on going deeper and deeper. Eventually they they just destroy. So I think that pretty much was it. That was our tutorial. So, um that was a bit of a shock. That was a quick one this time. So let's just upload that and um start working on the trees next. See you guys in a bit.